And we have uh, another testimony that I think attests to the fact that God really takes care of his people, that we shouldn't worry or sweat it. But uh, Jesus was telling the truth when he said, even a sparrow falls to the ground. God notices that. The very hairs of your head are numbered. Don't take much to count mine anymore. But we never had a home. In all the years that I've been preaching, we've never had a home of our own. In fact, the man says, I've never made enough money in any one year to preach to qualify to buy a home. And we've always lived in a parsonage or a rented house somewhere. And I thought from time to time, well, when we get old and retire, I wonder what we'll do. But uh, I never did really sweat it much. But God provided us a home. There was a couple in our church who were saved in our church, named the Faulkners. And they were good people. They were faithful to God. They served God. Denton and Irma Faulkner. Now they prospered financially. He was an electrician. And he made good money. And they bought some real estate here in Anchorage and in Kenai. And then he was a partner in United Builders Supply. And United Builders Supply became a very profitable organization. And they made a lot of money during the boom days in Anchorage. The Faulkners built him a home out here in a new division, Turnigan by the sea. They're just the two of them. They never had any children. And they decided to build them a bigger place, though, and went a little further out of town, out uh, by Turnigan Arm, and built a home out there. They uh, came to me and said, Would you like to live in that house out there in Turnigan? I came out here and looked at the house. Brought the barn out here and looked at the house. Yes, we'd like to live in it. They had had it rented out. And they said, well, we ought to give that house to you, but we're afraid if we give it to you, we couldn't take it off our income tax. So we're going to convey it to the church with this restrictive clause in the deed. You and your wife can live in it all the rest of your life as long as either one of you are alive. You can have that house as your home. So this house where I'm sitting now was provided through the Faulkners as God impressed them to provide us our home to live in all the rest of our lives. The simple truth of business is, I don't care how anybody got their home, whether they bought it or whatever. They can't live in it except the rest of their lives. And so I have a home to live in just as long as anybody has a home to live in. And when we've lived in it all the rest of our lives, somebody else will be living in it. And the guy bought his own house and paid for it. When he dies, it'll be gone and somebody else will be living in it. So, God has provided for us a place to live. And I've discovered that God is right and the Bible is right when He says, if you'll do my business, I'll take care of you. And I can honestly say, I've tried the best I humanly could to do God's business, give myself to that. 
and God has done his part. The fact of this is, I promised God when I started preaching, I left the business world and started preaching. I said, I'll do the preaching, you pay the bills. And I've operated on that basis ever since.